there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to another beautiful Steam Spotlight creation. This time, we're taking a look at this Light Assault Cruiser, designed by Exterius, and he has been designing some rather interesting pieces of equipment for his fleet. And this week, you guys really wanted to see both a functional and a very industrial style design. And this is exactly what we've got here. We're going to take a look around the exterior and then we'll dip inside to see what the internals are like. So the first thing you'll notice about this rather industrial sort of design is just how blocky and chunky it is. It has a sort of smooth flow to it, but it's very chunky, very blocky, and it just feels more industrial than other sort of designs. So right at the front here, we have the tip of the actual ship you can see how it's designed as it's cut into this area here conserving a little bit of a thruster within a very beautifully housed enclosure there a little bit lower we also have the camera so the camera can actually be used to sort of aim these rocket launchers on either side that's extremely important if you're coming across another ship of this size you're going to be able to engage it and it is quite modestly armed so if we work a little bit further back you'll see that we've got our rocket pods here. The rocket pods have been surrounded by catwalk blocks so they can possibly hold off a few rounds of Gatling gunfire to keep them rockets actually intact a little bit longer but what I really like is just how he staggered out particular areas. You can see how he's used a mixture of cut down, I think it's a cut down rotor block or some sort of block that's been cut down. Actually no they are just ore detectors. They've been cut down and they've been recessed in various areas. Here's another example of how he's done his recessing. You can see we've got the iron thrusters along the top there. We've got the recesses with the the detailing of the armored blast doors on either side just gives you some great ideas when it comes to adding the close-up detail to the ship and what this does is from a distance just creates more texture on the actual design itself and you can see how he's done it as well in the hydrogen thrusters as we work our way back so as we're in this hydrogen area we've got one of our access ports and two sort of clamping blocks there so we can dock to a station or whatnot and above there we have two connectors so we can transfer supplies a little bit further back we have our oxygen generators that are on the side in what i would say is a very dangerous position to actually put them but moving a little bit further back we've already talked a little bit about the rocket launchers you can see we've got this weird sort of i think it's supposed to maybe demonstrate some sort of tank that's been strapped onto the side of the ship but as we work our way back you can see we've got the rocket launchers staggered. Now, what's really cool about this is it means that all these rocket launchers can fire at the target in front at once and also track in quite a large arc. So you can imagine a target that's in front of this ship is going to be receiving a lot of fire. You've got the dual rockets pinpointing it in, causing absolute carnage. And as we work our way back, we've also got the Gatling gun fire to either deter missiles or just to shoot down them fighters that are getting close. So as we took underneath, we've got a rather interesting bit of design here. So you'll notice this with the rear and front landing gears. He's used some cut down blocks as well as stacking the landing gears in sort of a reverse order. So they actually look just like this, creating this really beautiful sort of landing gear type effect. You can see them cut down blocks on either side and a little bit of lighting. So as you imagine if this lands down on a planet, you've got a little bit of dim lighting underneath the landing gears to add a bit of effect. And you can see what he's done here with more cut down blocks as well as using just to some hallway blocks as a little bit of a detail as some sort of thrust of venting. You can get really creative by putting blocks in places that you wouldn't usually expect them. So we've got a little bit more cowling for some iron thrusters there and some stairs that lead into this particular area that I'm quite a fan of. So underneath here we actually have a welder so that means a fighter in the middle of a fight could quickly dock up, project itself a blueprint and repair back up using that welder and you can see how these staggered areas look like they're reinforced in armor and you can see they've got this little joint of these double armor blast doors both adding protection and giving it that reinforced sort of feel because since this is an assault cruiser you've got to imagine that it's going to be taking the brunt of the attack while the capital ships lay down supporting fire in the rear so as we retreat into the sort of rear area of the ship you can see it kind of breaks down into two separate sort of cells with this cool sort of antenna in housed in the beginning as well as a nice little camera there so you can see when something is docking with that rear port on the back we've got ourselves these smaller interior sort of turrets just to fend off sort of strays or people that are trying to maybe access your cargo while you're in dock or whatnot to not too not really too effective against anything else such as larger ships or even fighters these smaller turrets 
So as we work array around the back, you can see we've got the oxygen generators on there, producing a little bit of oxygen for the crew, keep them breathing. And here we have the engines. So we've got a double large thrusters on both sides, and we've also got five smaller thrusters housed in the middle with a little bit of lighting for ambient effect. And it just continues to have this really industrial sort of design. You can see how it's not just sloped it around that corner there. It's actually just left that thick slab corner cut straight off giving in my opinion a very industrial feel i don't know i don't know it depends on different people's view perspective really what industrial counts as but i'd love to hear what you think about that in the comments below anyway let's step ourselves inside so as we enter through the airlock that is lovely labeled we enter into a very beautiful interior we've got the control center power processing and we've got the crew quarters and we've got various areas marked out so it corresponds with the correct colors very nice indeed so if we turn our little light on as we navigate through here we've got a turret inside that's extremely important if someone gets aboard your ship you you just won't know how it is until you have a multiplayer battle and you get a character aboard your ship wreaking havoc uh, grinding things that is why you need them interior turrets so we've got the shield room that if we cut through here we've got the shield generators what i'm guessing are above actually just turned off gravity drives and we've got some windows that we can open up on either side to see outside we've got the medical bay that's got this rather interesting slanted door design at the side with our cryo chambers in he's also created a cut down floor design that i really like something that you'll notice about this ship it is a very compact interior on the outside you kind of expect a bigger sort of interior than what you actually get but at the same time, so we're actually in a control room area that's actually particularly armored. So if we actually zoom out, you can see where that is in relation to the outside of the ship. We've got another turret there to weigh off any of them defenders or attackers who get ourselves into this situation or are trying to betray you right at the captain's helm. And as we retreat into this rear area, you can see it starts to get a little bit more industrial where the sort of important processing areas have kind of been combined with the internal sort of area because there isn't particularly too much room in the design so as we come a bit further back we're in the jump drive room you can hear with some processes going on we've got the hydrogen tanks to the right and we can also follow this corridor down here where we can inspect more of the hydrogen tanks and we can continue going around it is a beautiful little labyrinth of a ship but there's lots of access particular to particular areas that makes it great for survival because there's nothing worse than having one access point and then having to go all the way to one end of the ship so if we go back in at the front i'll see if i can find any other areas that you might find particularly interesting so you can see we've got these possibly maybe beds or maybe just storage racks there's definitely something that's going on in this area is it's a little bit harder to predict this design because even though it's laid out and explained what it is you can see the shield rooms you've got you've got seats like this put in particular areas i mean maybe they're just for detailing but obviously they could be used to pilot the ship as well and it's always great to have a backup sort of area anyway we'll stop into the actual cockpit area and we'll give this thing a little bit of a fly just to see how it actually handles. So let's power this up. I'm expecting good results from this. So we've got quite an average acceleration. But with a light sort of assault cruiser, you expect very good sort of maneuverability. And that is exactly what we're getting. The acceleration is not great, but we can maneuver around a target. And probably outmaneuver a lot of them capital ships with all that thrust that we've got there. Absolutely beautiful. We've also got the rockets that we can fire. We've got our various different items we can actually activate as well. We can activate our landing gears. Yes, but we've just got the maneuverability of what would I consider a small ship. That's absolutely great. Anyway, check out a link to this ship in the description below, and I will see you.